Now consider isoelectric and isoionic pH. Okay, uh, this is seemingly um, you know, identical pH. Uh, is important. Yeah? The differentiation um, is important. The concept uh, is uh, is uh, different. Okay, biochemist speaks of isoelectric or isoionic pH of poly protein molecules like uh, proteins. Okay. But uh, this concept doesn't uh, is not limited uh, within uh, this one, the uh, protein. But it can extend to uh, other, for example, you know, colloid particles. Okay. Uh, let's take an example of this alanine case. Okay, alanine. This is a polyprotonate form. Um, is this one? Okay, H2A plus, uh, and it dissociates like that to this one neutral uh ion okay and then this neutral zwit ion also dissociates into uh, you know this uh, alanine anion eh? this is fully deprotonated form and pk1 is 2.34 and pk2 is 9.87 okay now here's a uh, definition of iso ionic point this is a ph when the pure neutral polyprotein acid ha this is a neutral Trial. In this case, this one, this is the uh, neutral form. Okay, it is dissolved in water. Only ions, okay, uh, this one, and then this polyprotonated and polyprotonated and proton and hydroxide ions are uh, present in solution. Okay, and so starting point is neutral polyprotic acid. Yeah, that pH is called isoionic pH. Okay. In this case, but you, uh, uh, you know, this one, this, these two concentrations are not the same. Okay, although solution neutrality is met. Okay, but that doesn't mean that this fully protonated, you know, this, this form concentration is not the same as fully protonated concentration. Okay, yeah. Since we started the intermediate form, the pH can be calculated using uh, this uh, equation now yeah? by this time you are familiar with this equation okay so isoionic pH is given by this one okay? for uh, 0.1 molar uh, this one alanine okay this uh, the ion the pH yeah? isoionic pH is calculated using this one and then pH is 6.11 this is the isoionic pH, all right? And then using K1 and K2, uh, we can further calculate the uh, fully protonated and fully deprotonated concentration. Yeah, this one. So as you see, the the concentrations are not the same. Okay, a minus is a slightly excess. Okay, it's a slightly excess. Okay, uh, we have to think about why why this is the case. Okay, and let's consider isoelectric point. That's the pH at which the average charge of the polyprotic acid is zero. Okay, in the case, and this is a definition. Okay, the this form. Okay, the polyprotonated and the polyprotonated form, uh, their concentration is the same. Okay. Yeah. And then the, uh, this polyprotonated form can be uh, written using K1, yeah, and polyprotonated form can be uh, you know, written by this using K2. Okay, since you know this one, this is, is, is the concentrations are the same. And then we can uh, you know solve this equation, and then very simply, proton concentration equals the square root of K1 K2. Okay, so this isoelectric point is simply mm, one half of the uh, sum of pk1 plus pk2. Okay, now you uh, from uh, this one, if you f if we further you know, simplify this equation and then it becomes uh, this one, this equation. Yeah? So actually, isoelectric and isoionic pHs are 
very close okay in many cases you know they are the same within the experimental error okay but concept is different okay don't forget that all right yeah that's the concept the concept is important okay and let's consider the isoelectric focusing okay at its isoelectric point average charge of all forms of a protein is zero okay that's very important okay at isoelectric point okay? average charge of all forms of protein is zero okay? it will not migrate in an electric field at its isoelectric ph okay protein separation is possible that is called isoelectric focusing okay now this is kind of electrophoresis okay? to separate the proteins okay let's uh, assume you have a protein mixtures okay and each protein has different iso um, electric point points okay and how do you separate you know, the, the proteins okay one one method is to apply electric field okay now here let's look at that now this plate in this plate you, know, uh, you uh, what cover this plate uh, with a species whose pitches are continuously uh, changing here okay yeah. and uh, you apply a strong electric field and then proteins you know protein mixture now uh, moving let's see from the uh, from the, the left the, to the right along this plate okay and each you know position here on the plate has different uh, pH okay you know since the protons are, are charged okay and it migrates when applied the you know, electric field okay and then now protons are moving all the protons are moving okay toward uh, this plate yeah from left to right all right from uh, you know positive charged to the positive charged species moving are uh, moving to negative pole okay and then anion eh, negatively charged proteins are moving to the positively charged uh, positive poles okay and okay here and then one protein hmm, is isoelectric point let's say is a 4.0 okay and when that protein reaches in this area you not know, that protein what the, is neutralized okay neutralized means what no charge yeah it doesn't move any further okay and then it uh, remains here but other proteins are still moving hmm? okay toward uh, this plate okay yeah? it is attracted they are attracted toward let's say negative poles okay and a certain protein so electric point is let's say 4.5 okay and then in this area you know, that protein loses the charge and remains here and doesn't move anymore okay and then like that okay so initial protein mixture now is all separated okay depending on their isoelectric uh, point or ph okay yeah, that's one of the uh, very strong method to uh, separate the proteins okay but that doesn't apply not on uh, doesn't apply uh, to proteins but to other species okay yeah apply to the uh, uh, proteins okay uh, or uh, enzymes okay like that yeah? or maybe uh, you know other species okay yeah, this way so here each protein migrates until it reaches the point where the pH is the same as its isoelectric pH then no longer moving this is the uh, present you know what the, the marker okay iso uh, ionic marker okay so it is uh, used to, to separate uh, proteins okay in this case uh, let's see uh, here let me see let's uh, 
look at the uh, let me see here you see PSA right the second plate yeah they are you know well separated PSA is a bovine serum albumin this is uh, one of the proteins and yeah, they are all proteins okay but they are nicely you know separated by this isoelectric focusing okay yeah and this one is uh, the uh, fluorescence uh, labeled okay yeah, when pr the protein is fluorescence uh, labeling and then uh, this one um, so you can detect uh, the fluorescence right then and this figure uh, shows the uh, uh, how the the proteins are you know separated okay and y-axis is pH and x-axis is a migration a fraction of a six millimeter length of a channel okay now depending on isoelectric point of a, a protein and proteins are uh, can be separated okay 